we're having a look at my little fuchsia seedlings. I'm growing them in the house since I sowed them back in March. They don't really want too much sun, but they do want a warm environment. And so I'm keeping them on my windowsill. They are not frost tolerant, so I need to keep them inside during the winter. At the moment, we are in the summer, but I'm still keeping them indoors. And I'm keeping them quite moist, which is attracting fungus gnats. So what I've done, I usually would um, sprinkle cinnamon all over the the soil and that would sort of because it's a natural fungicide it sort of makes the soil completely inhospitable for those little fungus gnats and then drives them away but at the moment i've run out of cinnamon so i've gone to, on to do the next best thing i've got some matches the ones i have are actually extra long um but that doesn't matter i mean actually it just makes the head a bit larger than usual and so what i've done is i've just taken the the match and stuck it down I've done about three, well, maybe four or five or six um, matches in each little, each little pot here for each plant. Um, and the sulfur in the match heads will actually, it's something that the gnats absolutely hate. And so it'll make the soil have more sulfur in it and that will drive the gnats away. It's really interesting, but for some reason they really dislike sulfur. And so this actually does work. So I've just put a bunch of matches in each little pot here. And within a week's time, I'll keep on watering it as usual, and that will actually make the sulfur dissolve into the soil. And um, within about a week's time, I'll check again and see if the heads have, if all of the tops have dissolved into the soil, then I'll replace those matches. And I'll do so three or four times. So it's about three or four weeks. I'll be doing this and by the end of that time the fungus gnats should be completely gone so that'll be really good because they were really buzzing all over the shop every time you sort of move move the pot around there'd be like a little flurry of those little creatures and i think after i put those matches in i can't see any more right now how amazing if it already worked i can't believe that maybe they're just hiding because i've i've moved them but there were definitely loads of those little fungus gnats around so this should work it's it's said to work it's really exciting so i'll be doing this and we'll see how it goes